Hello and welcome to episode 5 of my 737 sim build. In this episode I'll be concentrating on the captain's and first officer's master caution panels. If we take a look at my Fusion 360 design we can see that the three captions indicated here now they are based on the caption supplied by cockpit sim parts. So I've measured them, drawn them up and then built the assembly around them. The back panel here, the big panel at the back, that is designed specifically to fit my glare shields that are already designed. The back plate and the LED plate are designed to fit the LEDs into their captions. The only thing that I will change in the future is the master caution and fire warning because they are actually supposed to be translucent orange and red with different colour writing on and I'll sort that out at a later date. To see how the captions work and how I've designed them, I'll hide the fire warning caption and show you the buttons underneath. So now you can see the two tactile switches and the two holes for the LEDs. Let's head over to the CNC machine and get started. This is the joys of having a CNC machine. I now get to sit back while it does all the work. So now I'm just going to mount the tactile switches and they should just simply push through the 1mm holes. Like so. Now I'm gluing the back plate onto the enunciator itself. Nearly attached it the wrong way there. Here you can see the CNC template I made in clear perspex. This allows me to drill the tactile switch holes in the exact place. This is where I need a pillar drill. Luckily enough, I didn't drill all the way through to the front and destroy the item. So that's always a bonus. Let's see how it fits. And that is how it's going to look. And can you hear it clicking? It looks pretty good from there. Let's see if we can do the same now for the fire warning. Oh yes. One and two, done. So now before I put these in for real, could do with countersink in the back of the back plate just to make it easier to solder the wires onto the back of the tactile pins that come a bit closer so when the switches come through as you can see there's not much play in that to, to get the soldering iron in there so I'll just quickly countersink the holes give me a bit more play around the back of the pins and be able to solder some wires on for real there's four pins to the tactile switch I only need two just going to make sure I'm just going to make sure which two of the four makes the circuit when I push the button. I'll then wire these in parallel. So there's two switches per button. So depending on which one gets pushed or even both, they'll, they'll still make the contact and therefore make the switch. Time for soldering. All the grounds are now getting connected using black wires. I've pre-tinned most of the terminals and of the wires themselves. So that's the ground connected to the four switches. To help me, I have colour coded the wires. In my case, pink stands for buttons and switches, red, yellow and blue stands for the colour of LEDs, and brown stands for rotary switches. Black is obviously ground. One, two, all good. Here's the enunciator, it needs two LEDs in, so hopefully you can just see there, a little proud by about three millimetres, so I just need to drill a little bit deeper. Perfect. So the fire warning should actually be red. And there we have it. Let's see if we get a bit closer, eh? Fire warning. So what I'm going to do here, I've 
bent the legs together, the two cathodes, and we'll attach the wire. One leg done. Cool. Red goes to the top, black goes to the bottom. All the way up. Like so. Engage the tactile switches. There they go. So that's the buttons and the six pack mounted. Now I'm just going to put the LEDs in the back to make it light up. Hopefully I'll be able to rescue them from the old one. Let's give it a go. This is the first one complete. This is the right hand side or left hand side as you look at it. You can highlight it there. You can see that the fire warning now comes on. I've not tested them all actually in situ yet, but we'll get in there. And that's the master caution panels made. Let's put them in the MIP and see how they look. And let's put this one in. Okay, how do they look? <laughs> 